Hey, my name's Jeff Cookson, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Inflation finally hits 2%, 2 percent, 2 point something percent. Now, this might not be as good news as you were expecting. So I'm going to go through what is going on with inflation, how much it went to. You probably know that already, 2.3%, which is a big drop since last month. Will we see a drop next month? I'm going to cover that as well. And what, more importantly, is likely to happen with mortgage rates? Because let's face it, that is really what you want to bring down right now, is your mortgage costs. So we're going to go into that and more. While you're here, if you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification. We've got new content every single day. We're on the way to 24,000 subscribers now. And while you're here, smash like, tick or like, do something to that like button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And it means you're just an all-round good person. And as we're at two point something, I think you should smash it extra hard today. Thank you. So <laughs> what's going on? Well, the inflation data, while it's sick, if you listen to Rishi Sunak, it seems like well, we've ended a war or something. He's absolutely uh, <laughs> cheering about inflation dropping, um, but the markets aren't reacting as well. Uh, and so inflation last month on the yearly average was 3.2%. And we are now down, we flip those numbers around, and we are at 2.3%. The target for the Bank of England is 2%. So we're pretty much there already. So that's good. The problem is the forecast was that inflation would drop even more than this. The forecast was that inflation would drop to 2.1%. It didn't quite do that. Now, this is the lowest inflation has been since 2021. And back then... Not lots of people were talking about inflation. It wasn't common conversation like it is now. We were doing some renovation products and all the builders were moaning about the cost of materials at the time. Um, but they were talking about things like the plaster going up and the, the wood ex uh, essentially was getting a lot more expensive as well. And that's where I first started hearing normal people on the street talking about inflation. And then it started coming into food and energy costs and stuff like that. Now... Here's where some of the problems lie. Uh, and now the markets are predicting that the Bank of England will not cut interest rates in June. It is not expected. Uh, recently, as, as recent as yesterday, it was a 50-50 chance that they would cut in June. Now it's down to 18% chance, which is not great. And a lot of this has been led by service inflation. So service inflation, things like your haircut, restaurants that you go to uh, and stuff like that. Prices have been rising for those businesses. Uh, uh, energy costs have hit them really hard uh, and obviously food costs more money so they've been hit double whammy, those types of business. Their inflation dropped from 6% down to 5.9%. So not much at all, a smidge down. Um, and that is one thing that the Bank of England is keeping an eye on. They've uh, specifically mentioned service inflation and they want to see that dropping for sure. Uh, now, core inflation is really, uh, they strip out a lot of stuff into this. Uh, and this is the cost of goods, um, food and stuff like that. Uh, core inflation is down as well, but... All of these numbers are not down as much as they were hoping. So core inflation has gone from 4.2% annually down to 3.9% annually, which isn't great. The reason that we've had a big drop in the inflation data is the energy cost. Energy is down something like 16%. That's a big drop. Um, and there's another drop expected in July. Uh, so your energy costs should be going down again in July, which is good news. Now, looking through all the data and all the things that they look at in inflation, here's one that I think just shows that they should be cutting rates sooner. And pretty much the only thing that went up was rent. Rent. It's one of the only things, if you look through all the data, the rental inflation is pretty much the only thing that went up. And the rent inflation is now 
7.2% average for the year. Some areas it's as, much, as high as 15%. Now, why do I think that's a big problem? I think that's a big problem because your rental payment, your monthly rental payment is one of your largest bills, right? It's one of your largest bills. Uh, and so, yes, gas and electricity going down is definitely good, but that could be counteracted by your rent increases and that isn't good now rent increase of uh, uh, rental increases have happened because of a few things here one is the interest rate rises so we're keeping interest rates high that means buy to let investors are getting way more uh, higher monthly mortgage payments and that's just getting passed on to the tenants Right. If you're a buy to let landlord and your mortgage goes from 150 quid up to 600 quid, you're going to have to pass something on. And you've also got the Tories have got all these anti landlord taxes like Section 24. We've got the uh, the Renters Reform Act going through at the moment. So that's making more landlords leave the market. This rental stuff could go up even more. And that's one we need to keep an eye on. And it is pushing the inflation numbers, if you could bring that rent down, if that could happen, then we would be below the 2% target for sure. Um, now, we're at 2.3% at the moment, but the year end, we are expecting inflation to go up again. And it's expected that by the end of the year, we'll sit at 2.6%. Uh, so the UK is doing better than a lot of countries. Uh, we've got lower inflation now than USA, France, Canada, Germany, uh, and, and a few other companies, uh, countries as well, which is good, right? But we still need to improve this data significantly. It's interesting if you watch the news today, Rishi Sunak is literally taking all the credit for this inflation data here today, saying that the plan has worked. Now, I'm not a massively political person, but one thing I can say is there was not a plan. I didn't see anything that the Tories did in order to bring down inflation. I'll give you an example of Italy. Italy has got 0.9% inflation right now. It's one of the lowest in the Eurozone. And one way that they did that, they, they got the supermarkets, they got the farmers, they got the distributors all together. And for three months, they held food prices. They all uh, entered a voluntary agreement uh, to hold prices for three months and that helped drive down their inflation. That is a direct policy that you can say makes a big difference. In Spain, one thing that they did was they had um, they reduced uh, tax on travel uh, and different things like that that helped them bring down inflation at one point. I, I can't see anything that the Conservatives have really done that makes much of a difference here. But the biggest problem with all of this is that because it isn't as good as the forecast, we're now not looking like we're going to have an interest rate cut in June, which causes a lot of people more pain. I think the interest rates personally should start to come down because if you dropped even a quarter of a percent, that means that some people would be in a slightly better position and the interest rates, if they went to 5%, as an example, would still be restrictive. They would still be causing some pain for people and they would still correct this inflation. Now, if we look, we know next month's inflation data is also likely to be another drop. And you can look up this uh, data yourself online. In May, May 23, the inflation for that month was 0.8%. So as long as the next month's data, which is going to be the May 24 data that we're going to get in June, as long as the data is less than 0.8, which this month it was 0.5, as long as it's less than 0.8, then we know that the inflation is going to drop again next month. So if we know that already, we know where we're sitting there, why can't we start to cut rates? That's my opinion today. Let me know what you think. Do smash the like button. Do share this video with anyone that you know would be interested. Do check out some more content on my channel, including this video right here.